Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm John Drumgool. I never thought I'd be up here talking about these things, but I am. I recently went to um, Hill Country Water Gardens, and boy, they had some nice displays of fairy gardens. I never understood the garden part. I knew about fairies, but I didn't know about the garden part. And when the two came together in front of me, I realized what's going on. I never thought this would happen. But they are attractive. They had some beautiful layouts over there, and when they're put together properly outdoors, then you've got a nice little setting that everybody can enjoy. Uh, for example, these are some of the older and more fairy looking uh, settings right here. There's many little houses. There's a bridge down there on the end, and uh, here's a little house right here that glows in the dark. It's got a solar plate on it, and it collects light for the daytime, and uh, then, that's a neat part of the garden, too, to be able to go out there at night and see these little things glowing. Look at the different characters that are down here. There's a little house with a door on it, an acorn for a roof on this one, little trees. Everything you want is available these days to have nice little fairy gardens. And the plants, too. Look at the plants that are over here, miniature plants. These are the very same plants that you would use in a terrarium, small container plants that um, you can get into the terrarium beautiful ones to grow in there. So they match the fairy garden just right. Proportion wise, I think that this is a really good looking garden. And there's so many native materials to use also, but in proportion to the garden. You have to use little rocks like that. If you're gonna make a dry creek bed or some other feature in the garden, use little tiny rocks. They look so much better. I use this pine straw right here just as a base. I think it's a nice cover. And uh, in some of these covered little uh, gardens, these little grottos that these things could be in, it's the perfect base for them. And look at the different characters. There's a lot of different characters that you might use as part of the theme in your garden. This little style of fairy garden, very pleasing, uh, very enjoyable, and not such a strange thing after all. I certainly developed a different look at these when I went to Hill Country Water Gardens. The displays there are beautiful. Now, um, here's another style over here. This is kind of our little um, summer look with flamingos and a little pool down there, some uh, soda pop in a nice container, chairs to relax in, a little swing. I mean, all of these things are available in a totally different style and a beautiful one. The palm trees uh, are in there to make it um, beautiful, little tables to enjoy. And now there's some books. There are several books out there that help us understand how to put these together, how to have the concept of what's going to look good and work out in your garden. So if you've got some themes that you certainly enjoy, whether it's this little forest scene or down by the pool, it doesn't make any difference. The products are there to create this little environment. So. Um, I've got a different opinion of fairy gardens now. After seeing some beautiful ones, I understand the garden part of these fairy gardens. So enjoy it yourself. Try one out. Go look at some of them. And I think you'll find out that these are just right for your home garden. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgool. I'll see you out in the fairy garden.